Okay, so I got these two engraved. They are stainless steel, or can stainless steel? They will not engrave by themselves. So you are gonna need to take a marker and do what it is. Give it a nice little Sharpie cover. You'll be able to take this off after. But if you don't do this, it won't work. So we're going to do this, we're going to have it raised up, we've got our triangle prism, so I'm going to do two or three in here at the same time. I already did one, it actually came out, I was really excited, some people said it wouldn't, so let us do this. Now the only problem is your, your Sharpie will erase your Sharpie if you color it the wrong way, so you got to kind of not color it too many times. One, two, and three. So when you've got your lettering um, clicked, you're gonna click engrave 100 power, 20 speed, one pass, and that should do the trick. And then you'll click process when you're ready to go, but you have to center it on your um, carabiner. So I recommend making it fairly small. So even this, even though that looks really small, that's actually a 10.54 font, so not hard, that hard to read. The only thing I'm finding is that it won't auto, me auto measure this. Um, so yeah, <laughs> so yeah. So, and it is a little hard to like tweak the angle here a little bit, but I think that should be good. Okay, so it's framing. It's not gonna be accurate, but it's gonna be approximately there. Put framing completed. Start. And then it's going to engrave. And you just got to wipe away the the um yeah. There you go. You're wiping away the um marker and it shouldn't mark it shouldn't um also take away the um yeah the engraving assuming it did a good job so yeah and this i'm rubbing it with rubbing alcohol i'm not sure if that's necessary if i could have just used regular cleaner but i had it sitting here so that's fine okay so the color ones i'm not sure if they needed the marker i did the marker on the blue and the green but not the black the black transferred just fine without it so um i'm not sure these needed it but the gray was the color we got for everyone else because that was the only one I could get fast enough on Prime. And I didn't want to be running around. So the um, we had a few of these left around. So engraving them was really easy. I think it's kind of a neat project and it's great for the kids will enjoy having them, I think. So alrighty, I hope that was helpful. Take care. Bye. I hope this was helpful. Thanks so much for watching. Please check out my blog, DIYDanielle.com, for more ideas. Take care. Bye.